If you want a food scene with bombs, fires, and out-of-this-world flavors, I have just the place for you. You might be familiar with Spanish dishes like jamón and paella, but we're in Barcelona, and this city has its own food culture. I have $50, or 44 euros, and I'm on a mission to try the local flavors in one day, without breaking my budget. One of Barcelona's signature dishes is La Bamba, a potato and meat croquette topped with garlic aioli and romesco sauce. It was invented by Maria Pia more than 60 years ago, and her secret recipe has been passed down at her family's tapas bar, La Cova Fumada. The name of La Bamba is due to the first person who tried it with picant, he said, Ostras, this is a bomba! Josep Maria Soleil is Maria's grandson and sells about 250 bombas a day. Si sabigues la yaya, la que la que ha format la mayor de la bomba, que la tutón se la copia, que aquí, que para allá, estaría ahora súper orgullosa y súper contenta. Other tasty and popular items at La Cova Fumada include octopus and artichokes. And part of La Cova Fumada's charm is the good company, Joaquim, Felix, and the local patrons. After lunch, it was hard to leave them, but there was more food to try, and I'd spent only 12 euros. A trip to Barcelona isn't complete without a visit to La Boqueria, and this market's been around for centuries. It's a maze of jamón, nuts, seafood, and produce stalls, which led me to this cup of fruit for just 2 euros. Spain is the world's third largest wine-producing country, so of course I had to try some. Villa Viniteca sells and distributes more than 3,000 varieties of wine and distillations from around the world. But just one place in the world makes the sparkling wine cava, and that's Catalonia, the Spanish region I'm in. You can find different profiles inside the, the cava style. Gonzalo Fernandez is Villa Viniteca's sommelier. You can find your own cava, it's very crispy and fruit forward or you can find aged cava, more complexity, teeny bubbles. To Barcelona. Our toast, with a medium-aged cava, was dry, a little fruity, and surprisingly just four euros a glass. My big splurge was dinner at Rocco de la Vila. Spain's Catalonia and Valencia regions make a dish similar to paella, called fidua. And pasta, not rice, is the main ingredient. Peppers, cuttlefish, crayfish, shrimp, and mussels are added. Stock, and then into the oven for the flavors to bake together into a truly delicious dish. The restaurant serves other traditional Catalan dishes like calçats, pan con tomate, and crema catalana. The sweet treat might look like creme brulee, but it has two important distinctions. The crema is cooked with lemon peel and cinnamon, and it gets its caramelized crust from a hot iron. These two things combined made it impossible for me to put my spoon down. But I dropped 25 euros on just the fidua and crema catalana. After a full day of feasting in Barcelona, I spent 43 out of 44 euros. The fidua was 19 euros and took a big bite out of my budget. But it's meant to feed a crowd and the price reflects that. Barcelona was a lot more wallet friendly than I would have guessed for a major tourist destination so I give it a 10 out of 10. It was worth every dollar and delicious bite.